hello i did a thing a thing that has been some time in the making if you will if you're new to my channel hello if you're not new hello my name's marina welcome or welcome back i gave jeff bezos my money uh oh whoopsies i got a new kindle i have been strictly not strictly loosely strictly reading mostly physical books the past I don't know two three years i enjoy reading physical books in my hand uh, that's my preferred method but i am aware that i read faster digitally and because of the school year taking up all of my time like when i tell you every day night i am just either at school or work i barely have time to physically read and i think this has caused me to reevaluate my situation a little bit so i took the time within the last few weeks to figure out what would make it easier for me to read how could i prioritize that more find more time to do it get through books faster so i bought a kindle i bought a kindle um i bought this last week it came in two days ago and i decided to open it today because this is kind of my birthday gift to myself and it is my birthday Ooh, okay i have never really had a reading tablet before i had a nook long ago like when i was a child that was too young to comprehend a tablet meant for reading um my parents got that for me when i was literally like seven or eight years old and i had no i literally thought it was an ipad i did not use that for reading and i have no idea where that nook is at <laughs> so this is kind of i guess you could say my first one and i'm gonna do an unboxing for it and I guess somewhat of a review slash a setup. I don't really know how this video is gonna go. I just wanted to open this on camera and show you guys what I think. Yeah, okay, so let's open this bad boy up. I wish I had a box cutter. Where are the scissors at? Something just flew. I don't know what music I'm doing right now. This is the Kindle Paperwhite, the 11th generation. I think I got the latest one. I don't know. I think this is the 2021 version. Um, I got the one with 16 gigabytes because I feel like I'm going to be using this until the day I die. <laughs> and then I also got a case for it um that comes with a little tripod that's also another reason why i wanted this so badly is because i read faster digitally so i've been reading a lot on my phone and my phone it has some space for storage but not that much and ebooks take up a lot of my phone storage i'm gonna be so real right now i think it's about time that i just transfer them over to this bad boy it's long overdue for being real so i'm gonna open this up this has been literally staring at me for two whole days like just waiting to get open look oh my god okay is there something else inside of here this must be the charger hmm okay it doesn't come with a little like adapter for the plug that's annoying this is what it's looking like i'm excited to turn this thing on it doesn't come with any instructions but i didn't think it would i don't know an iphone doesn't come with instructions can you please get out of here power on button is at the bottom do i need to charge this no i do not okay it's officially on <sighs> and now i wait so how's you guys day going what's up hello oh it's loading it's loading let me show you guys the process of what's going on. Let me turn the camera a little bit. This is what it's looking like right now. So excuse my pimply face. These are all stress pimples. Again, school is terrible. Yeah, so it's currently loading right now still. I think my favorite part about this is going to be decorating it. I bought a few stickers. I only have three stickers. But I think as I continue to have this, I'm going to probably get more to decorate it. Because I got a clear case. That's exciting. That's so exciting. Can you please load? I'm so impatient. I'm sorry. It's telling me that I can set up this device. I'm gonna get the Kindle app on my phone real quick. I'll be right back and then I'll show you guys the process after I'm done. I'm officially in. I've decided that I'm going to do the free trial of Kindle Unlimited just to see if it's worth it. And so far the process was easy of getting it set up. Right now I'm gonna figure out how to sync the books on my phone to my Kindle because that's kind of really 
the main reason of why we're doing this today. But this is kindly what's in my library. I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. I already read it. Um, I gave my review about it a year ago. It's just in my library, I think, because I read that book on Audible and Audible is owned by Amazon. So whatever Amazon related book you have read, it's going to instantly show up in your library as soon as you set up your Kindle. But I'm currently scrolling. I don't know why I've Everything is in black and white right now, though. That's kind of throwing me off a bit. Is there a way to do it so it's not black and white? I like color. <laughs> Guys, it's been an hour. I've been trying to figure out how to send the ebooks on my phone to my Kindle. And I think I finally got it figured out. Like they're actually sending. So very excited about that. It literally took forever. But the process, once I figured it out, was actually really easy. It's just that none of the technology is on my side today. I got the green one, by the way. I don't think I showed which color I got. I got the green one. I can tell you this already. It's very, very light. Um, I was worried at first that it might be a little bit heavy. For something that saves like 16 gigabytes worth of books, it's actually pretty light. I'm happy about that. I think this is the part where I set it up now, I guess. I don't know. Is there any way to make it not black and white? Like, is there any way to make it so the covers have color in them? I was trying to figure that out first and then I got distracted um, by trying to put my books in here. But now I'm going to try to figure out how this thing actually works. Um, I spent a little bit of time charging it so it's kind of fully charged now. And now I'm just going to like mess around with it and see what it has to offer okay so i was playing around with this thing just seeing what's on it because again i got the free trial for kindle unlimited and there are so many books on here that it's kind of overwhelming just a little bit like i knew the hype that came with kindle unlimited okay i knew what i was walking into but not to what extent i've literally just been scrolling through adding books to my library <laughs> For the past like 10 15 minutes um but now i'm actually ready to somewhat decorate it i don't know so for the case i literally just got a clear case so nothing special i only got three stickers because i didn't know how big this thing was going to be like i know it says 16 inches on the app but i don't have a ruler or a tape measure near me so i didn't know how big that was <laughs> but looking at it i think my stickers are gonna be fine they're gonna fit just fine first i'm gonna put the case on though just a clear case wow <laughs> and then there's this little then there's this little pop socket thing that comes with it i like this i was trying to look for different ways i could utilize my case to make it easier for my kindle to be held and i saw this little pop socket thing that can be put on the back of this case that'll make it easier to like stand up on its own or hold so i got it i just need to figure out how to place it on i'm gonna put it on the back here it looks so oddly shaped but it could be placed down too like the way that it works is that you can fold this out however you like i'm gonna like mess with it a little bit because it's tweaking right now see that's how it's supposed to look you can fold it like this so it's flat take it off so you can again bend it at whatever degree you want i don't know i just think it's nice i think it's nice i think i'm good it's gonna be useful when i'm reading on my bed and i have this thing to grip on with my fingers so it doesn't fall on my face that's the goal <laughs> that's the goal because that's usually what happens when i read physically things just end up falling on my face now that i have that on let me show you my stickers okay i only got three because i didn't know how big this thing was going to be but now i know what it can and can't fit and i think i'm gonna get like maybe a few more i don't know I got the sticker that says let a bitch live because yeah that's how i've been feeling lately and then i got the sticker that says well-behaved women rarely make history because womanist over here that's my thing and then pothead this has many connotations under it take it however you want but it is shaped like a coffee pot so yeah i'm gonna put those on here i don't know where exactly they're gonna be put on but i'm gonna figure that out right now oh i clicked on a book that i didn't mean to oh wait no okay i heard this thing a lot of amazon users this is like their least favorite thing about this tablet is that when you turn the thing off it shows ads for other books <laughs> i thought i clicked on a book by mistake when trying to turn it off but no this is just an ad for a random book all right bezos all right
I don't know if I like it. I like the way that it looks. They're actually perfectly fitted. I was scared that they might be either too big or too small. They actually fit perfectly. It's just the fact that this thing, it's blocking the bitch sticker, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. I just want it to look like I have stuff on here. Like I have like a clear case. You could do so much with it if you wanted to. And I might add some stuff. Like I feel like these two corners are empty, but right now I think I like it. I like it a lot actually. I think tonight I'm gonna mess with it a little bit, see what I'm working with. Cause I really don't know what I got myself into with this thing. It really wasn't until I started scrolling through the books that they offered that I was like, oh, I feel like I have the world in my hands right now. I have so much power. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna like see what it does. Gonna test it out by reading and it's not gonna be an exciting book. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm a student first. So I need to read a few chapters of this textbook for class on Monday. So I think I'm gonna test it out by starting that. And I think that's gonna be a good way to start because I'm gonna be like highlighting and annotating notes from the textbook. So I'm gonna see how like those features work and everything else that comes with it. And I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling tomorrow. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Hello, it is two days later. I'm gonna give you guys my review real quick of this. Didn't forget to do it yesterday. I just didn't feel like it. So we're gonna get this out of the way right now, okay? Okay, I love sticking to my promises. I've been messing around with my Kindle uh, for the past few days now, and I think it's gonna be worth it in the end buying this. I was using it to annotate my textbook, and I was low key scared about how that would work for me because when I take notes and stuff for classes I really go like in depth highlight underline making little side commentary in the margin stuff like that obviously like it would have those same features I knew that it would what I didn't expect was that it had like a little flash card feature let me show you let me turn off dark mode so you can see it in this corner you can do like a vocabulary builder. And so you can make flashcards for any of the words that are in this bubble, okay? The flashcard already prepared for you. It tells you what it means. Obviously I know what the word don't means. Okay, please calm down. But I just think that's a cool feature because I'm definitely gonna need it. In regards to like keeping track of my notes and everything, it has everything that I highlighted just here. Um, in the little journal tab. I was really just fiddling around with this, trying to see what it has to offer. When it comes to actually reading from it, I will say it's really easy to read from. It's just the fact that the response time when I tap it is kind of slow. Sometimes the screen will turn black in between turning pages and I think it's broken. It's not broken, that's just how it naturally looks. It took me like a minute to get used to that, but it's not that big of a deal. At first when I started reading it, I was like, did I already break this and I just got it? That's upsetting. I like how you can like switch between pages easily. So like they got the grid feature and then the slide feature. I think the grid feature is what I'm gonna use when I'm looking for my notes and textbooks. So like it shows me which pages I have highlighted. I could just click through and then you can just like slide through with this little thing. Again, I don't know how I feel about it being black and white. Like I was really trying to see if there's a way I can change it. There's not as far as I know, unless you guys would like to give me information that I'm not aware of of how to change it from black and white to color, please let me know. I also like that when you tap it, it shows you how much time you have left in the chapter and then like how many pages I'm in. I have a question though. Is there a way to convert the amount of pages that are in the ebook to the actual amount of physical pages there are in a book? Say I'm on page 46 in an ebook. Sometimes that means I'm either farther in the physical book or I didn't get that far in the physical book. Sometimes 46 pages in the ebook can mean you're on page 90 in a physical book. I wanna know if I can change that. I don't think I can. And then I noticed this while I was reading because I started reading Restore Me by J.L. Seegers. I've been meaning to start the Restore Me, Revive Me books for a while now. It was on Kindle Unlimited and I got it. And I really like this feature. It shows me other readers' popular highlights. So what that means is like, if I go to like this little menu option at the top and I click popular highlights, it can show me 
the stuff that other readers really like and the highlights for them which I think is really cool. I like seeing what other people have to say about the books I read. Hence me being a booktuber. Duh. I, mean, I don't know if this is with every book but I noticed this specifically with Restore Me that it'll give you like an x-ray breakdown of all of like the notable things you need to know about the book. So like the people in the book, the characters, the terms that you'll need to know. So like for example, the characters in the first few chapters go to a really known club in the story, Club Noir, and it'll show me what Club Noir is if I go to the terms tab. That's going to be really helpful for me because I tend to go through memory loss when it comes to reading. I'll forget a character within like the first five pages if they're not brought up constantly. So that's definitely going to help me a lot. Can't wait to use that. I was literally like gagged at that. I was like, oh wow. Alrighty. And then of course when it comes to like the font, the layout theme, you can change it. Um, I have mine the same. Like I didn't change anything in terms of text size or anything like that because I like the way it is. I like this a lot. I'm going to have so much fun with this. I already know. If you have any Kindle Unlimited books that you guys would like me to read, I guess I can now. I'm a part of the Cool People's Club. I have Kindle Unlimited. And again, I spent a lot of my time yesterday just going through books and downloading them to read. There's so many books on here. I can't stress that enough. Like I know everyone else already knew and I'm the one that's late to the party, but I, it's crazy. This is definitely not gonna help me trying to get through my physical TBR, but I need to look at the bigger picture here. And this is the bigger picture. I have so many books to choose from and I'm so excited. I think this is a good present to myself. That's it. That's the video. Yay. I know this is gonna be a short video, but I just wanted to post this and let you guys know that I am a part of the cool people club i am gang gang i am here and i would love you guys to recommend me books on kindle unlimited if you follow me on social media then i already mentioned that i got a kindle but i thought it'd be cool to just show you guys the process of me actually opening it because that's fun if you enjoyed this thank you if you'd like to follow me on my social media here it is <laughs> it's right here i mostly interact on twitter and instagram but if you like to follow me on all the other apps they will be linked down in the description below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone